pedal's driving me nuts. It's up here. It's up there somewhere, but it's on the outside of the truck. Every time I put the camera down there on the hood, it just rattles. It's all you hear through the camera. does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. <laughs> I love the dad joke book Bud got me. Alright, we're just west of, uh, or just east of St. Joe, Missouri. Highway 36. We're heading for Columbia, Missouri. With a load of pork out of Sioux City, Iowa. It's kind of breezy out. All going good. Current temperature is 93 degrees. We can live with it as long as the air conditioner stays going. We're in good shape. He's doing some grazing. The grass good. I'm okay with you eating it. Grass tames their stomach down a little bit or also it can make them throw up if they eat too much of it. All right, I kind of want to say we're in a hurry. We're sort of in a hurry. We probably should be in a hurry. Uh, this load got loaded about eight to 10 hours late, later than what it was supposed to get loaded back in the city. It was supposed to be to Columbia, Missouri, Gosh, it's 6.30 this morning, and uh, well, let's just say that's not going to happen. We have a new goal. Our goal is to get there before they quit unloading today. We should make it. Like I said, we're, we're sort of in a hurry, but not really in a hurry because, well, this is me and Opie in a hurry. It really is. I would hurry more. And the only reason I'm calling it we're sort of in a hurry is because I, I want to get unloaded today. Hey, too much, too much, too much. I don't want you puking in my truck. That's, that's good. You're good. They say it's when their stomach is upset they eat grass, but my two German Shepherds, well, they're always a little off. In a good way, in a good way, yes, in a good way. Like uh, most dogs will pee to mark their territory. Not these two. Opie and Jax, you got grass all up in your mouth. Opie and Jax, they poop. Yep. Yeah. That's how they mark their territory. They're like leave little marker poops in each corner of a yard. <laughs> Dad, I cannot believe you're telling them this. Why are you telling them this? It's very impolite of you. Yeah, but I'm also telling you, you have grass hanging down from the roof of your mouth. All right, we're gonna get back in the truck, get some trucking in. Um, we are on Highway 36. We're gonna run over to Macon. Is it Macon? I think it's Macon, Missouri. Then we're gonna jump on some two lanes and run the two lanes down in Missouri. It avoids the interstates. It avoids the drama, put it that way.
hear that rattle? So can I. We've got a pretty strong wind out of the south, and we're heading east, so it's coming across up here, getting a rattle up in this corner. Welcome to Macon. probably thinks I'm nuts. That's okay. I am a little crazy. Highway 63. I, uh, it's been years since I've taken that road. I am, for some reason, I had it in my head that that was a two lane. Worked out real good that it was a four lane. We're going to go for a nice little walk up here. I suppose get checked in. There's a couple trucks there. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> Zero seven hundred. That's when that load, this load was supposed to be here. Walked right in. She goes, "I seen you drive by going down the road, and I knew exactly who you were coming for us." Pull right in. I say this quite a bit. Once again, craft here at uh, Columbia, Missouri. That was the nicest lady I've met. I say that a lot. I meet a lot, a lot of nice people. There's a lot of mean people, but there's a lot of nice people. Really nice lady. We're going to go down to the truck, get the truck, bring it up here, and go in those gates. That's the plan. I'm going to let the German run around real quick before we go in, though. I didn't see any grass. You know it's warm out when my truck sounds like a wind tunnel. There's three extra fans going on top of the blower motor fans. It's not hot. It's oh my gosh, it's the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Holy crap. Cool.
see those yellow things up against the, the doors there? Those two yellow things? Right there, those tire grabbers. They make sure that the trailer is perfect in there. You don't want to hit them though. They guide your tires, but you can't figure they'd be too good on them. The other side, the other guide rail is like this. Just a little crooked. This one right here versus that one over there. You see how this one's just a pinch crooked? So when I was backing in, I was trying to get them perfect because I don't want to rub the tires, and we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, we did. I did. I don't think I rubbed it on there. If you're going to rub it somewhere, that's the best place. It's smooth. It's not rigid, it's not like a curb or a rock, but I'd rather not rub it on there. I'm gonna eat some food now, and then we'll get out of here. Until then, it works just fine. I took a nap. It was a fast unload, but I still got a nap in. going to play a game how close can we get to Kansas City and still find parking our reload is in Kansas City tomorrow morning that's the trick how close can we get there's a Petro that chrome shop that one that's affiliated with Iowa 80 I wouldn't mind getting there. I think they still have some parking. Usually that back lot there usually has some parking. When I go through, and that's dark hours, so we might actually get lucky there. Too bad to see.
couldn't just put a little bit of work into her and save that old bridge. Huh. I guess. Well, I guess you could say I chickened out. We're about 50 miles from Kansas City right now, and uh, Opie, get over here. Get off the road. Come on. Come on. 50 miles from Kansas City, and every every westbound, you know, rest area, or come on, Opie, or uh, pull off, or truck stop. It, they were full. You know, the truck stops were filling up. It's not dark yet, but the truck stops fill up pretty quick anymore. And that truck stop I wanted to go to. Don't hold me to it, but I think it's the last one right before you get into Kansas City. So if that one was full, I'd have to find a place to park. Because uh, where we're going, you used to be able to park there. Apparently, I haven't been there since uh, they did it, but they put up big fences all the way around it. And uh, we can't park there anymore. So I chickened out. We're at a rest area just off Interstate 70. <laughs> yeah, you're bothering me. <laughs> uh, perfect world case scenario, we would have. Uh, been able to deliver this load when it was supposed to be delivered this morning we'd be loaded in Kansas City and heading back north it wouldn't be such a big deal but uh, coming up this weekend me and Sarah are going to be celebrating 22 years married it's either 22 years married or 23 years married it's one of those two things. Been together, I think she said 27 years. So I got something, a little little something planned for her. And I need to be home to do that plan. It's okay. We'll just get home a little bit later tomorrow night. And uh, turn around and not be able to do the plan until... Until the next morning. We'll do it that way. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I feel like it's a short one, but usually when I feel like it's a short one, they end up being long ones. But if it is a short one, it's a short one. You guys stay safe. Oh yeah, if you haven't yet, run over to truckingwithschmidt.com. Dad's been working on some pretty cool stuff. He's got the hats made up. He's got the shirts made up. Pretty proud of him. He does really, really good with that stuff, and he gets really, really dedicated into that stuff. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Hey, let's go on an adventure. It's a mowed path, so it's got to be a trail, right? Let's go see where it goes. You down for that? <laughs> uh. Oh, this is pretty nice. It almost gets you away from the interstate sound. Almost sounds like a, a distant sound just getting over the hill. You still coming? All right. He was in shot, I swear to it. He was right here beside me. Give me a tent. Actually, just give me a bed right now and I could sleep right here. Hi. I was just telling them how you were right here a second ago.
Well, I am now, Dad. I could. Well, you still feel warm. Nah, you're cool. Humidity's starting to drop down a tad. Temperature definitely is dropping down. I could. I could just sit right here. I think we might do that. I think we might just sit right here until it gets dark. That's some bad breath. <laughs>